The Wireless Go 2 offers a range of features that makes it perfect for use with a smartphone. For everything from Zoom calls to interviewing in the field or even mobile blogging. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to connect and use the Wireless Go 2 with a smartphone. As you can see here, the Wireless Go 2 receiver has a USB-C port. This is used to recharge internal batteries, but it's also a digital audio output that allows you to plug directly into a smartphone or even a tablet. The kit comes with three USB cables that can be used for charging and plugging into a computer. But to plug the receiver into a mobile device, you will need to use a different cable. If you have an Android device that has a USB-C input, you'll want to use the SC16 to connect the receiver to your phone. Or if you have a phone that has a lightning input, like this iPhone 12 here, you can use the SC15, which is a USB-C to lightning cable. You can also plug the Wireless Go 2 into a mobile device using the 3.5 millimeter output and an adapter like the SC7. Once you've plugged the receiver into your phone, turn it on by pressing and holding the power button. Then do the same for the transmitters. Out of the box, the Wireless Go 2 will pair automatically. Auto automatically? <laughs> Automagically. <laughs> Okay, I'll try it once more. <laughs> Out of the box, the Wireless Go 2 will pair automatically. But if you ever need to reconnect a transmitter, simply press and hold the pair button on the receiver for three seconds. Then click the power button on the transmitter. The Wireless Go 2 also allows you to record in either split or merged mode. In split mode, your transmitters will be recorded onto separate channels on your receiver's output. We recommend using this if you need access to each microphone's audio separately when editing in post-production, like if you recorded a two-person interview. Merge mode combines the two audio signals from the transmitters into a single output, meaning you won't be able to separate the two microphones in post-production if you need to. Merge mode is great when you're only using one microphone or if you're wanting to use the safety channel. You can also change this and many other settings in the new Rode Central app, which you can download for free. There's a link in the video description. Here, you can also activate onboard recording, the granular gain control, and turn on the safety channel when you have your Wireless Go 2 plugged in. The best way to complete this mobile setup is with the Rode Blogger Kit. Slide your mobile phone into the smart grip attached to the tripod and slide the receiver into the cold shoe mount at the top of the grip. This is the perfect solution for a wireless, hands-free setup when you need to make a Zoom call or when you're vlogging. Thanks for watching, guys. If you need any more info on the Wireless Go 2, check out the links in the description. Like and subscribe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and fun fact, I'm on the box. You're <laughs>